Are you lacking a little bit of energy? Do you need a little bit of a boost? Or maybe you just want a tasty beverage. I got you covered. Introducing G Fuel, a sugar-free formula with loads of different flavors to choose from that'll give you a boost. These are a couple of the flavors out of the many that I really, really like. Now, G Fuel also has a non-caffeine line called Hydration, and these are absolute bangers containing a lot of electrolytes and vitamins. By using code SALT, you can get 20% off your purchase right now. Link in the description of the video. If you miss the SALT, it's not my fault. What's up, you? For today's video, we'll be full brand new Generation 9 Abilities team. I shall be covering every single new Abilities for Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some movesets and I'll be showing you what each Ability does, spanning over six individual battles. I've been working on this one for like three days, so that's where I've been at the uploads. It would mean the world to me if you could drop a like on the video and a comment, people, and let's get into it. This is an absolute banger of a video. So the first Pokemon here we got is a doubles battle combination with Kilowattrel and Bramblegast. They've got the two new abilities, Wind Rider, and we've got Wind Power. So what Wind Rider does, it raises your attack by one if a uh, wind move uh, activates, like a uh, Tailwind, or if you get hit by a wind move too, which is pretty cool, and it gives the wind immunity. Kilowattrals is very similar. However, you don't get an attack rise. It actually gains the charge effect, and it also uh, activates when a wind move like Tailwind or attack by a wind move actually is used here. So they are a little bit different, but they are pretty cool. And I thought it'd be a nice little combination to use both of them. So we got the Tailwind Discharge Air Cutter set there with Kilowattrel. And we've got a Bullet Seed Protect, Terror Blast, and Shadow Sneak set with Bramble Gas. Now the cool thing here, right, um, this shows another difference between uh, these abilities is one actually does take damage to Kilowattrel. However, the Wind Rider, uh, the, like the Wind Rider ability on the, uh, compared to the Kilowattrel, doesn't take any damage at all. So I've got a Terra Ground here on my Bramble Gas, and I've got a little combination here with Discharge Terra Ground on Bramble Gas and hitting the other two Pokemon with that move and having that immunity. So I thought it was a pretty cool matchup here. We've got this Sylveon and it's going to be a Terra Fairy. So this thing already used a Calm Mind before. So it's going to be pretty scary. So go for that Discharge on the uh, Killer Watcher here. That's going to be max special attack and max speed. Uh, we got Tim and Nature. And it's going to do pretty nice damage there to Torkoal. So now I'm going to go for the Terra Ground on the Torkoal. And that is a rest in peace there for Torkoal. So very, very nice getting around that. Now Sylveon is going to go for a Terra Fairy Hyper Voice. Definitely going to be pixelate, and both my Pokemon just get wiped out in one shot there. But at least I got to show you what both the abilities do and how it interacts with each other, and of course other moves like Heat Wave too. That's actually uh, you know class as a Wind move too, which is pretty cool. Next Pokemon is going to be Toad Scroll. And we've got our oh, Bolivia. Now let's go over Toad Scroll. It's got the new ability Mycelia Might. So this Pokemon status moves go last in their priority bracket and ignore abilities, which is pretty cool. The thing about this, having that negative priority means it's gonna be going last using status moves virtually all of the time here. So our Bolivia, I'm gonna show you that in a little bit here. However, I did a move set for my Toad Scroll to actually get around its ability a little bit. So I gave it moves the status moves that have priority. So for example, I've given it Rage Powder and I've got Endure. So I thought this is a great way to get around. It's uh, the horrible downside of Mycelium Might. So yeah, it's pretty nice being able to ignore abilities, but the horrible downside is you go last. So I thought, okay, well with Rage Power and Dua, that's gonna obviously help me go first there. The other moves I've got are Giga Drain and I've also got Miracote as well. I went for a Miracote on the Sylveon and I dropped it, which is really, really nice. I ran Max Health and Max Special Attack and Modest Nature. So the next Pokemon to come in is gonna be Serilege and we've got the Roaring Moon on the field here. I went for protection on our Believer because sometimes you need to go for protection. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use of a bait for Dash Bun. Now, Dash Bun has got the ability, it's uh, called Well Baked Body. Now, this is a good thing, right? This is some good relationship advice. Now, when you're going for a to find your partner, right? Your significant other in life, you go to them, right? On the first, on the first date, you go, 
you know what? You've got a well-baked body, and you're going to get it every time. It's going to be a yes every time. You're definitely not going to get slapped. Anyway, don't take my relationship advice. This uh, dash spine is pretty cool because when it gets hit by a fire-type move, it gets its defense rise by two stages, and it gives it fire immunity. So... Well-baked body is a very nice uh, ability there to bait out a fire-type move. Now, I've got this Toad School. It's going to go for Endure here. I've got a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage there, which is kind of nice too. And with the Rage Powder, that actually drew all the attacks to Toad School, which is really, really cool there. So this Dash Fun is making use of its defensive boost. We've got Ganlon as the item. Ganlon Berry raising it by one and a quarter max. We've got Body Press, and Draining Kiss, Agility, and Sub. I've got Max Health and Max Defense. Uh, we got Bold Nature or Ubish Nature, one of the two. So that was some really, really nice damage there, taking the Roaring Moon out. Next Pokemon is Scovelin, and this thing under the sun could possibly have Chlorophyll, and it's very, very fast. So I did a bait and swap there again on Arbolivia, and I went into Baxcalibur. So here comes a Solar Beam. I thought it might go for a Spicy Extract, but it's going to go for a Spicy Solar Beam, and that's the end of Dash 1 there. It completely wiped me out. So here comes a Bitter Blade from the uh, Serra Ledge, and uh, I'm actually going to activate another ability. So this ability is uh, Thermal Exchange. When this Pokemon gets hit by a Fire-type move, it actually can't be burned, and it gains a, an additional plus one in attack, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of like well bait body, except you take damage, and you get an attack rise, and you can't be burned. So it's a little bit different there. So this uh, Bax Calibre is a Max Cells, Max Attack Set, Brave Nature, Avalanche, uh, Breaking Swipe, Blizzard, and Glaive Rush. So this set is uh, very, very bulky there, and it's sort of made to work with our Bolivia, like baiting the opponent out for Fire-type moves here. So I'm thinking this Scovelin, after it did take out my dash one, I'm pretty sure that's Choice Specs, because that was doing like way too much damage there. So I'm going to go for Protection here on my R Bolivia. Now my Bax Color is going to go for Glaive Brush. That is going to be enough to take out the Settlers there in one shot, which is really good, because that was a very, very threatening Pokemon. Now the last Pokemon is going to be Cinderace. It's some sort of like Sun Team here, and I'm going to go Protect here, because I'm a little bit scared of like, you know, any sort of attacking move at this point. I believe has got the ability Seed Power, and Seed Power is going to activate when it gets hit by attack, putting grassy terrain on the field. So that's pretty much it. So here comes a Solar Beam there, so it definitely is Choice for sure. I want to say Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. I'm thinking more Choice Specs though, because uh, it's already got Chlorophyll. So the Cinderace is going to go for a Libero High Jump Kick, Bax Calibre. I went for Protection right, which is really good, because I would absolutely dominate him with that one shot. Cinderace loses half its health, which is amazing. And now I'm going to go for a Terrain Pulse from the Sea Power and take out the Cinderace with a Disrespect Guard. Terrain Pulse, grassy move, and that caused a Salty Baby Bottle Rage Quit. And that is the very first battle there, people. We've got a very first Salty Rage Quit there, battle number one. I hope you enjoyed the battle so far, people. Let's get on to battle number two. I'm not really sure what my opponent's name is here. I mean, that video deserves a like already, right, for that salty rage. Okay. So we got a singles battle here, mixing things up again. We do have another doubles battle coming. I've got Palafin as the first Pokemon. Now, Palafin has got a really strong ability, and we'll be going over that a little bit. That is zero to here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the salt stack, and my ability actually got to be activated there, being Purifying Salt. So Purifying Salt actually uh, stops the status moves, and it actually halves ghost damage too, which is really, really cool. So now we've got the Toxapex swapping out, and we have the Meowth uh, Meow Garter coming in. So this is a Body Press Iron Defense set. It works pretty well around the board. So we've got Iron Defense Recover, Body Press Soul Cure, Max Health, Max Special Defense, Everlight as the item, and of course Purifying Salt as the ability. So here comes the flower trick that's gonna bypass all of my defensive boosts there and crit me but you know this Pokemon has got a lot of bulk to it it's super thick and uh, a mouse guard is gonna get dropped in one shot this Pokemon does not play any games so that's down next Pokemon is gonna be Dragapult now, this is pretty important. It's going to go for a Hex. I was like, that's probably not going to faint. And it didn't. It did nothing due to my bulk and Purifying Salt actually halving that uh, ghost damage, which was really cool there. So I went for a Salt Cure because I have nothing to hit this Pokemon with apart from that. And I got some pretty nice damage. So since it used Hex, I'm thinking it's probably got Will-O-Wiz and it's got Draco Meter too. So it's Reveal 3. Well, I, be I believe it's got uh, Will-O-Wiz there because you don't really run a uh, Hex without any sort of status move, right? So it's going to get hit by the Draco that is the end of the uh, the salt stack there. Next Pokemon is going to be Screamtar. So we got the 
uh, the Proto ability here. And what this does, right, it actually activates uh, a boost on your higher stats. It's sort of like Beast Boost, you know, so I've given this boost energy. Now, the uh, the EVs on this one, sorry, the IVs were kind of specific. So I have, uh, I think it's around 22 or 20 EVs in speed there. I've got no less than 15 uh, IVs in special defense. And I've got max health, max stack, so I get a boost on my attack there with boost energy. Toxapex came in expecting like an easy, uh, you know, match up there. I absolutely dominated it with the physical set. We have Play Rough, Drain Punch, Psychic Fangs, Fire Punch as my attacking moves there. So now I'm going to swap out here. I smell a rat. I think a Willow Miss is coming my way. So I went to Gold Dengo and I got that Good as Gold. Now, Good as Gold is pretty cool there because what that does, it's immune to status moves. So it's very, very similar to like Purifying. So this is a troll set. We've got uh, the Iron Mist Toxic Orb. I've got Trick Recover, Metal Sound, and Steel Beam. Max health, max special attack with the tip of nature there. I went for a steel beam on the Dragapult and I took it out there. I took the fire blast nice and easy too because I was running that max health there. So that is going to be a double KO for the Dragapult and the Gold Dengo. Next Pokemon is going to be Breloom. Now this really isn't the best matchup in the world here for Oinkalone. But it actually is going to activate my ability. So I've got Headbutt, Trailblaze, Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, uh, Max Zack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature, Assault Vest as the item. Ability is going to be Lingering Aroma. So when a Pokemon with this ability uh, gets uh, hit by a contact move, the uh, actually attacker's ability becomes Lingering Aroma. So it's very similar to all those abilities like, you know, Runarikus's Wandering Spirit and Mummy, those sorts of abilities. So it's sort of just gets like pass around there. So that's going to be the end of my uh, oink alone, but I did get rid of the technician, which is really quite good there. So now we're going to go into Palafin, which is zero to hero. So this has a transformation in uh, obviously in stats and of course an appearance suit, changing it uh, into hero form, making it one of the best Pokemon in Generation 9. I'm sure you've all used this Pokemon before. I'm going to go for a Draining Kiss there, and that is going to be a special set. So we've got Boom Burst, Aura Sphere, Draining Kiss, and Ice Beam. Throat Spray is the item, Max Speed, and Max Special Attack, Tim Nature. I had to sort of like nerf this a little bit because it's such a powerful Pokemon. That's why I ran a special attacking set. Swing comes Iron Hands here. I'm a little bit scared of an Electric type move, and it's going to go for close combat. That did a thumping amount of damage to Glimora there. However, it's going to activate Glimora's ability, which is going to be Toxic Debris. So if this Pokemon gets hit by a physical attack, the Toxic Spikes are set on the opposing uh, side of the field there. Now, this can happen in a row too. So if the opponent does, uh, you know, attack me or later on, it can put another layer on the field. Another layer, another layer, that sort of thing when it gets to two. So anyway, uh, that's going to swap out there. Nearly called a Hariyama. And I'm going to actually go for a pretty cool combination here because I've got the red card as the item. So when I get hit... Toxic Debris goes under the field, automatically swaps out the opponent. That means the incoming Pokemon is always going to be poison, of course, if it is that type. And Sylveon gets hit by a double base power Venoshock there because the, op the opponent was uh, actually poisoned. I, I put the opponent in poison feather and I got a poised. Is that even a word? Anyway, so out comes the Iron Hands here. I've got Venoshock, Terra Blast, Ancient Power, Earth Power. I've got Terra Flying in this. The opponent can be terrified, and I've got max special attack and max speed and timid and nature. So now we've got a terror on the iron ant. It's going to be terror fighting. Wait a second, is that fist bigger than like it's? Wait, hang on. I'm, it's, the fist is actually bigger than its own hands. Look at that. It's, it's even got more fingers. So I'm going to go for a venom shot. It took like it ate it like a snack. That must be a salt vested. Surely, and that's the end of the Glimora. I'm going to put a second layer of Toxic Spikes on the field there. Not that it's going to matter because it is the last Pokemon. So my last two Pokemon remaining are Palafin, and we've got this Screen Tail as well. I'm going to go into Palafin here, and I'm going to go for a Boom Burst. Boom Burst crits, but it still doesn't take it out. It's absolutely a Salt Vested there. I am getting a little bit salty myself here, and I'm going to get my Special Attack Boost. Here comes a Thumping Wild Charge from the Iron Hands, and that is the end of Palafin. However, there's also going to be Recall Damage on the Iron Hands, and it is going to faint right there. And that, my friends, is the end of the second battle. What a close one there. And uh, really cool abilities are uh, used in that battle there. Got to show them all off. Thank you for the battle, whoever that was. If someone wants to translate that name, I'd love to uh, love to know. Uh, we got the third battle here. This one was a... Yeah, this is the doubles battle. This is against Scully. 
and we've got a Garchomp and an Arcanine lead here. Now, my Pokemon are Mabastiff, and we've got Espartha. So this is a uh, pretty uh, interesting sort of matchup here. So what I'm going to be doing here is using a combination of these abilities. So Mabastiff has got the Guard Dog, and you actually got to see that in action, which is really cool. With Guard Dog, if it does get intimidated, it blocks the Intimidate and gets a boost in attack. Also, the opponent, uh, also the uh, Mabastiff cannot be forced to swap out either. I'm going to go for the Swagger there to boost up the Espartha's uh, ability with with opportunist, opportunist copies all the stat changes are uh, used by the opponent. So I made use of the swagger there by giving the opponent plus to an attack. And the cool thing here was, like, you wouldn't read about it. The Garchomp actually uh, went for a sword dance too. So it copied the sword dance from the Garchomp, right? It copied the swagger there. And I had Mirror Herb as the item as well there. So when the opposing Pokemon has a stat rise, right, it'll also copy that. So I got a plus, like, I got like plus uh, six there, and I had a negative one from the Intimidate. So this thing was absolutely stacked. So getting a helping hand there off the last second from Mabastiff. This is the bulky set, max health, max attack. Uh, Swagger payback helping hand. And uh, we had the, I think it was the item as wide lens there. So now I've got this meme set. It's a protect and last resort set. Even with a physical meme set, it just drops everything there. Uh, max attack and max speed, Adam and HR, and protect and last resort. I was very lucky there that the Garchomp did hit itself in confusion too. Next Pokemon is going to be Gold Dengo, and I've got Flamigo, so it's like, what an opportunity. Pun the pun there to send this in. So Flamigo's got the ability Co-Star. So that Co-Star is going to activate and copy all of my stats, which is plus five and attack. It's wild, right? So uh, that's sort of my strategy there. The whole Mabastiff and both the birds combination. It absolutely worked to perfection. So unfortunately here, the Gold Dengo is going to come in there and like, outspeed me. I'm like, what? It must be Choice Scarf. So it got around me here. I just want to demonstrate how powerful this is. So I went for, a, obviously, a deliberate, not very effective move there on the Gold Dengo. I went for a plus six Sky Attack there, and I dropped it. So I've got Sky Attack, Acrobatics, Faint, and Wide Guard are on my moves there. I've got Power Herb as the item, and I've got Max Snack and Max Speed Jolly Nature EV. So that was pretty nice there. Next Pokemon's going to be Fluttermane, and this is a very, very scary Pokemon. So I was like, well, I think they're going to go for Dazzling Gleam. That's a great move in doubles. I could be wrong, but, you know, I've got little to lose here because I absolutely am going to go for the Tailwind here. So my next Pokemon is Bombardier. This has got the uh, Rocky Payload as ability. So this Pokemon's offensive stat is multiplied by 1.5 times when using a Rock-type move. And uh, we've got Rock Slide as my move. So we've got Rock Slide, Tailwind, Drew Run, and Dual Wing Beat. So we got the Scope Lens as the item there, and I've got Max Health and Max Attack Adam and Nature. So I've got uh, a little bit, sorry, I've got like four, I think I've got 45 in speed and the rest in uh, in uh, health and then attack there. A little bit of a mix of, uh, you know, EV spread there. So now I'm going to go for the Terra Rock here, turning myself into a rock type. Look at that. How does it fly with like a house on top of its head there? You, you, you'll never know. So the wide guy worked really, really good. There's like, may as well use it again. It stopped the, uh, you know, it stopped it in its tracks there, which is going to be really, really good. Here comes the extreme speed from the Arcanine. It did manage to get around me there, but that's all good. Flamigo got, you know, a beautiful KO there. So here comes the Rock Slide coming from Bavidia. I've got the Tailwind up there. My speed is doubled. Arcanine gets melted and Fluttermane hangs on by the skin of its teeth. Wait, does it have any teeth? Let me see. Does it open its mouth? It does have a tooth. Oh, wait, maybe. Was that a green tooth there? Maybe it's a little bit moldy. Anyway, they went for a Calm Mind there and that was definitely a oversight going for Carmine. Um, I'm obviously very fast and hitting very, very hard. Next Pokemon is Dondozo, but that's not the Pokemon we're going to be looking at there because we're interested in Tatsugiri, but more on that in a little bit. So this uh, Dondozo is a special set here, but I'll get to explain this in a little bit because we're going to be using the ability Commander with Tatsugiri. I'm sure you've seen this before, but uh, we need Dondozo to actually get this to work. So this Dondozo is it's a little bit of a meme set here. We've got a special set. So I've got Surf, Nova Raw, Rest, and Order Up. And I've got the Stretchy Tatsugiri too to come out. But uh, a little bit more on that set. So now we've got the Garganagle coming out here and we've got this um, we've got this Quack Quavel. It seems to be a physical set. So we've got a Terra here. 
Now, this was pretty interesting. I, I, I must admit, I didn't expect this. So, they went for a Terra Water, which was like, okay, that's fine. Um, I've got the Tailwind up. I can easily outspeed this Pokemon. It's not that fast a Pokemon unless it gets, like, you know, Aqua Step and stuff out. Here comes a Helping Hand from the Gargan. That guy's like, wait a second. It's going to go for an Aqua Jet, and that's going to be Terra Aqua Jet on my Rock Type Bar Bomb Birdie, and it drops me. So, excellent play there. Very, very nice. I, I have to say, I didn't expect that Aqua Jet there. That is the end of my uh, Bombardier, but now I've got Tatsuguri to swap in here. So we've got a Moxie on uh, Quack Quavel, and I'm going to go for Noble Roar again. What I was doing, I was just dropping the opponent's uh, stats and that sort of thing. There wasn't too much I could do here at the point. I could go for Surf, but it wasn't going to do much anyway. So that's the end of the Tailwind, and now we've got the Tatsuguri. So Tatsuguri, don't worry about this set at all. We're just using the Commander ability. So... With the stretchy Tatsuguri, I can use Order Up, and that'll boost my speed by every single time I use that. So this is going to be with Commander. If the allies are done dozo, this Pokemon it will jump in its mouth and give it a plus two in all of its stats. That's how it works. So I've got Surf Rest, Noveral, and Order Up. Now, one thing about Order Up here, I think this is going to be changed. I think I was reading some patch notes. If you use Order Up on a Pokemon, and it, even if it uses Protect, you still get a boost there from it, which is really, really crazy overpowered. So since I was using the stretchy uh, Tatsuguri, I got a plus one to speed. We've got a Protect and Explosion combination here from the Garganak. I was like, wonder how this, you know, much as this is going to do there. Obviously, the Quack Cove will use Protect there, so, you know, pretty cool strategy. And it's also got the Normal Gem too, but it does nothing. So I'm assuming that Garganak had, you know, most of its stats or if everything in, you know, in health and defense or special defense or whatever. So here comes our close combat from the uh, Quack Cove. It's doing hardly anything. I'm going to spam uh, a couple little uh, sushis there and I'm going to get some to eat. Now, my ability, if you've already guessed it, is unaware. So I'm going to be unaware of that Moxie and all those boosts there. Now, that sort of also worked a little bit against me too with Noble Roar, but uh, I managed to, uh, you know, obviously defeat this Quack Quavel in the end there. They really tried to take me out. This Don Dozo's pure bulk there of Living Old as attack. Like, it's got so much in health. Like, it's got 150 base. And that's the end of the battle, people. That was a crazy uh, doubles battle there. Hope you enjoyed that one. Got to show off all the abilities. Let's get on to battle number four, people. If you're enjoying it so far, make sure you hit that like button and tell me what your favorite ability is of Generation 9. If you've got a couple of them, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your feedback there. And uh, please, people, drop a like there. Support this video. Um, so much work was put into this. So we've got a uh, interesting matchup here. We've got a Star Raptor. So this is a four Pokemon team here. I've got two, a couple of our four Pokemon teams. So the first Pokemon is going to be uh, Tauros. So Tauros gets a cool ability. It gets an ability called Kunchu. What this does, if this Pokemon eats a berry, it'll eat that berry again at the end of the next turn. So, um, I had a couple of people, uh, you know, tell me about, uh, you know, I should try some different strategy there. Normally, I go for a sub staff berry set, but I tried out Curse here. So, I thought I might be able to make use of Curse and uh, the Citrus Berry. Star Raptor's going to go for a double edge. So, I'm saying it's like a, a, a reckless set there. And I actually managed to get a Curse up on it. Now, the evil thing about this set is I've got Curse Headbutt. And I've got Iron Head and Double Edge. So I got a Headbutt Flinch there. You wouldn't read about it. And Star Raptor took that. Not only was it able to attack, it took extra curse damage there. And now Kudchu is going to activate, eating my Citrus Braid the turn after and healing me all the way up again. So I can use Curse again, which is really, really cool. Obviously, you can't keep getting a, a berry activation every single turn, but it is cool to get a second berry activation there. So finishing off the Star Raptor with the Double Edge there, they must be a pretty salty after that. And in comes the uh, Fluttermane. Fluttermane's going to outspeed me, sadly, and since I'm a Ghost-type Terror, it's going to be able to one-shot me. But that was really cool there. I got to show you, uh, you know, a different way of using uh, the Kudchu uh, as the ability. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to bring is going to be Coridon. Now, obviously, I had to use a little bit more of a meme Coridon set, but it had to be reasonably good because I was only using four Pokemon. The new ability is signature ability is uh, Orico Compost, and we've got I'm obviously swapping this Pokemon in. It summon, summons a sunny day, and it, you know the attack uh, boost by 1.3, which is very, very powerful on this Pokemon. So the EVs I've got running on this, uh, we've got Max Attack and Max Speed Jolly Nature, Weakness Pulsey as the item Reversal. Uh, Endure, Flare Blitz, and Wild Charge. So that's going to be the end of the uh, Flood of Main. Now, judging on the damage that did to me, that must have been Choice Max. That did so much damage. So next Pokemon is Gyarados. I'd love to use Wild Charge here, but I'm thinking, oh, I might need to use this at the end. So I'm going to keep the Karadon in the back 
And I might be able to make use of reverse right. So we're going to go into Belly Bolt. So Belly Bolt has a, uh, a new ability. Now, this ability is called uh, Electromorphosis. Now, what this does, right, um, this Pokemon gains the charge effect when it takes a hit from an attack. So virtually, you're, you're kind of wanting to need to be going slower, and then you can hit it. So it's like using the move Charge, and then the next turn, you use an Electric-type move. So you sort of get that boost right. I managed to get a uh, nice KO there on the uh, Gyarados there with my Parabolic Charge Big Root set. So this is Parabolic Charge, Slack Off, Acid Spray, and Soak. So you can change the opponent's type with Soak into a Water, and then you can go for a Parabolic Charge. So Max Health, Max Special Attack here. So we got a Mudsail come in. Good to see Mudsail being used here. This thing is super, super bulky too. So now it's going to go for an Earthquake. Earthquake super effective. A lot of damage. It's a clean two-hit KO. So now Electromorphosis is going to come into effect. And I'm going to get that Parabolic Charge super effective on the Mudsail. And it cleans it up in one shot there. And not only that, it heals me up too. So with Parabolic Charge, it's really quite good. You get a 50% uh, um, recovery there on the damage you deal with the uh, extra addition of the big root there, giving an extra 1.3 times on top of that. So amazing. But speaking of amazing, watch this. Out comes an opposing Coridon here. They've gone for a little Timmy Collision course there. I tanked it. I'm super, super thick there. Like people say to me, they like, try and roast me. They're like, Belly Bolt's expression looks like mine, but I don't know what they're talking about. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go for a soak. So we're going to change it into a water type. Here comes a second collision course here on my belly bolt. Belly bolt lizard barely on eight health and now right electromorphosis. Remember now it's a water type. I'm gonna go for a parabolic charge and it dropped it in one shot there. I got an amazing critical hit there and it was super effective on top of that too, healing me to half health once again, which is really, really amazing. So that's the end of the Coridon on there. This belly bolt is a force to be reckoned with. Next Pokemon is Maridon. So we got two of the uh you know, the cover legendaries here, and of course we've got the signature abilities too. So it's going to drop the Draco on my uh, Belly Bolt there. Unfortunately, Belly Bolt wasn't able to withstand that. But how about that? Uh, Mudstale, the Gyarados. Well, the Mudstale and the Coridon especially. So that's the end of the Belly Bolt. I've got two Pokemon left. Now, we're going to go for a new ability here being Gallade. So Gallade's got the Sharpness ability. So this is a really cool new ability. A, a, a great addition for Gallade too. So this Pokemon slicing moves have their power multiplied by 1.5 times. Interestingly enough there, there's a lot of physical ones, but there's also Air Slash too, which is actually a special move, which I caught, you know, would be really, really fun to use, right? So we've got our Max Special Attack and Max Speed, Naive Nature. We've got Staffberry as the item, and I tried to do like a mix there there. Unfortunately, it did lack a little bit of damage there. I mean, I'm facing a Maridon. This thing is crazy. So it did some pretty good damage there. Large Pokemon is Coridon. I'm like, this might be a speed tie. I mean, this is going to be nasty, right? So I went for it in gym, like, let's get the weakness policy activated. Let's see what they're going to do, right? Now they're going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. I thought they would do that. And now that's going to give me a, uh, a boost in my offensive stats too. So obviously on one health, Reversal is going to be at its uh, you know, peak in damage too, which is really, really nice. And I've got an extra plus two in attack here. No way Maridon is going to be able to live this one. I outspeed, and that is the end of the Maridon. It's become a Mirage, get it? And that is the end of the one, two, fourth battle there, people. And some more new signature abilities there. I had to use four because those Pokemon were really, really strong. All right, uh, we're going to battle against uh, you know, question marks here. And is this doubles? This is a single battle. Let me bring up my team. There's so many teams here today. Uh, Clodside was floating on midair there. I mean, I'm sort of used to that now with Scarlet and Violet. So this team, we're going to Claw Fleet here, but more on Claw for a little bit later. Now, we're going to go into Orthwarm here. I was hoping for an Earthquake here, and we got the Earthquake on the Orthwarm there, which is really cool. So Orthwarm's got the ability Earth Eater. So this Pokemon heals a quarter of its health every time it's hit by a Ground-type move. This is a Choice Band set for a bit of surprise right in the eyes, and Clodsight is going to fade in one shot. It's like, man, that was really, really good. So we've got Earthquake, Iron Tail, Body Press, Shed Tail, Earth Eater, and Choice Spend as the uh, item max health and max attack, and it took it out. It's really, really nice. A bit of surprise there. Unfortunately, we got the uh, iron moth coming in. It's going to roast me with a flamethrower, but that was pretty impressive taking a clod side out. Next Pokemon's Faradraft. So, Faradraft, I ran a, a physical meme set. 
Now I've got Agility Zen Head, but Double Kick and Beat Up with a Kindrock as the item. And we've got Max Attack and Max Speed. Now it's got the ability Armor Tail, and this Pokemon is protected by Priority Moves. So I thought, how do I draw out a Priority Move? I have to be really, really fast. So that's where Agility came in at, uh, for this tab. So we got the uh, King Gambit coming out here. It's got the Supreme Overlord. And I'm at a Supreme Disadvantage here, I can tell you that. So I've got Double Kick. They went for the Sucker Punch. Armor Tower's going to activate. Armor Tower is really, really quite good there because you can get around those priority moves. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's a move that's super effective, uh, Sucker Punch. Shoot. So I went for a Double Kick there. Double Kick does so much damage just due to that weakness. I took it out with a Double Kick. Physical Ferrodrass, people. Only on Pivot Shout. This is content. This is pure content. Next Pokemon, you've got the uh, reappearance of the Iron Mob. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt. I was hoping for a Scumbag Flinch here, and we've got the item as Focus Ash. I'm like, oh, okay, that, that, that sort of sucks. I'm hoping the Flinch, but it unfortunately never happened. Here comes a Flamethrower, and that is the end of Pharaoh Drop. But uh, at least I've got to show you there the uh, Armor Tail ability. Next Pokemon is going to be Claw. Now, I'm sure you know what Claw's ability is. We've got the Anger Shell ability. So I've got to endure Ancient Power Hyper. Being Earth Power set. It's a special meme set. So, what does Anger Shell do? Obviously, if you hit half or health, uh, like left of your health right, you get a plus one in attack, special attack, speed, and a negative one in defense and special defense. So, I went for an Dewey in hopes that it would take me below, and it certainly did. I went for an energy ball. Now, like, you watch this. This is incredible. The item I ran in this one, I ran Staff Berry. Now, Starfairy randomly raises a stat by two, so I thought, I might be able to roll a special attack boost if I'm, like, extraordinarily lucky. And I got it. I was like, wow, that's so lucky. So I got plus three in attack right now after Anger Shell. I went for a Scumbag Ancient Power. I didn't get the boost there, but, man, I was lucky to get that special attack there. That was awesome. So that's the end of the Iron Moth. Now, out comes uh, High Dragon. So, all right, I've got to do this. I've got plus three in special attack. Clawf's going to go for a Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam Clawf only on Pit Rush Shadow here. I did pretty good damage there, but, you know, this got pretty good special defense. And Clawf's special attack, well, it, you know, it's trash. So that's the end of Clawf there. So I had max special attack and max speed uh, tip and nature. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Maridon. I had to really, really nerf this set here because Maridon is broken. So Hadron Engine is its, uh, you know, its new ability, signature ability. So I'm obviously swapping this Pokemon in. You get Electric Terrain Summon, and you get a 1.3 in special attack. So very, very powerful. Super, super strong Pokemon. I've got the, I've got, sorry, the moves. Thundershock, Dragon Breath, Charge, and Carmine. I've got the item as a magnet. Here comes a Terra Darka High Dragon. I went for a Carmine here. Uh, on this turn to boost my special attack, right? We've got to get a boost there because I want a Thundershot KO here, right? So now we got the opponent going for a Draco meter. I had a little bit of a feeling it might be that. Maridon just hangs on. Very, very powerful move there. Uh, from Hydrake on. Now they're going to go for a tech. So I'm thinking they're stalling out my electric terrain there, I guess. Um, you know, it's very, very powerful in this Pokemon. So I went for a Thunder Show. I'm like, man, I, I know that I can take out next turn. So then they went for a second protect there. So they managed to stall me out two turns of my uh, electric terrain there, which is, uh, you know, that's pretty lucky there. I'm guessing they know that I'm going to outspeed them. So that's the end of the Hydrake on. And I took it out with a Thunder Shock. So Thunder Shock, Magnet. Calm mine on your Pyrrha Shell there. Next Pokemon here is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is like super, super rampant here. Now it's going to go for a Shadow Ball. It outspeeds me, and that's the end of my ride. I was like, man, um, i got to take this out. I've only got two more Pokemon left. So the Electric's gone from the field there, and I'm going to go into King Toilet. Now, King Toilet, this is a meme set. It's a special set, right? Now we've got Steel Beam, Rest, Sleep, Talk, and Snarl. And I've got uh, I've got a little bit of a special set here. Now I've got, I think I've got Metal Coat as the, <laughs> the item as well. So when comes Garganackle, I'm guessing they're expecting like a physical move, uh, Sucker Punch or something like that. Garganackle is actually going to get hit by a special move there. So I swap and King Gambit out. I'm a little bit worried about a body press and I went into Iron Jugglers. So Iron Jugglers has got the ability uh, Quark Drive. So Electric Train's on the field. It gets a, a boost in its highest stat by 1.3 uh, or 1.5 if it's speed stat there. Same with uh, Jiggly, uh, Jiggly Puff. Flutter Mains ability there, if I didn't already say that. So this is actually a physical set. I've got Iron Head, Acrobatics, Crunch, and Tailwind. I've got Boost Energy as the item. Max Speed, sorry, Max Attack, 124 in speed and 132 in health to make sure it boosted up 
in at uh, attack by White. And uh, Fluttermane's going to get dropped there, which is amazing with an acrobatic. So I guess they thought that I'd be a, uh, you know, a special set. So now Garganuckle's here. I'm going to go for an Iron Head. I got, you know, it was really cool there because it's got Rocky Helmet, but I got a flinch. I'm like, this is really good. All I need is a flinch in a pinch, and I'll be able to take it out. Unfortunately, the Garganuckle started stalling here really, really hard. Uh, with recover, so I'm like, all right, I know what to do here. So I'm going to swap out Iron Jugglers, and I'm going to go to the King Toilet Seat. You know, that's the best option. So the final of it is Supreme Overlord. This Pokemon has a 10% uh, more power for each fainted ally, you know, up to five allies, right? And that works on physical and special moves too. So I'm going to go for a Terra Steel King Toilet and go for a Steel Beam here because I know they won't expect this sort of thing there. And maybe after the Snarl or maybe they'll think it's like a mix set. So I've got that big axe on my head here. I don't know why you've got an axe on your head on the toilet, but sometimes these things happen. You're just going to flush the opponents away. Going for that Steel Beam here, there's no way it's going to live this unless it had Sturdy and had Purifying Scum and that is a salty DC, people. That is special King Gambit sitting on the toilet getting a DC. Let's get on to the final battle, people. Oh, man, there's been some such good battles today. If you're enjoying the video, people, if you haven't already hit that like button, make sure you do. Leave me a comment there saying, you know, all, you know amazing stuff, and uh, let's get into it. So the last uh, abilities team we have is all the Runerous Pokemon. I didn't forget them. Totally didn't forget them at all. So this team is a four team, and we've got a, what was the opponent's name? I think I'm, I think it was like Clara or Sasha or something like that. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a random battle on the Poker Portal. So I think all of these were, I'm trying to remember from my stream and stuff. So this uh, is a Chiam Power. We've got Sword of Ruin. So the Pokemon without this ability has their defenses dropped by 0.75. So it's very, very powerful. And I cleaned that Orthworm up in one shot there. So this is more of a competitive set for sure there, but I really had to use these to show off these abilities. So I've got Focus Sash as the item there, and in comes uh, Don Dozo and takes me out with a, uh, a wave crash. People like to call me Ben Dozo because I like Don Dozo as my favorite Pokemon, but it might be for different reasons. I'm not sure why. Maybe because of like they're trying to roast me or something, saying like I'm a, a fish or something. I don't know. So we got a Wo Jin coming here. Wo Jin is a uh, got the uh, ability Tablets of Ruin. So what this does. Uh, any active Pokemon without the ability um, have their attack multiplied by 0.75. So obviously, to sum things up there, any physical moves used against this Pokemon are not going to be as powerful. They're putting it in like you know really basic terms there. So this is an avalanche set there. I, I mean, even after getting some ice cream poured on top of the snail there, I managed to live it very, very well and get a nice Giga Drain KO. This is a Poison Powder, Leech C, Giga Drain Mean Look set. And we've got Max Health and Max Special Attack Modest Nature. So that's going to probably be the end of Woshin here. We've got the uh, we've got the Galay coming in here. Uh, sorry, the Iron Valiant. And it's going to get a, a plus one and it's already super high special attack. And it's going to be the first snail on the moon there. That'd be amazing, the first snail on the moon. And then it can put like a toothpick as a flag on your Pinot Show. Next Pokemon is Ting Lu. Now, Ting Lu has got the ability... Vessel of Ruin. So any active Pokemon without this ability had their special attack uh, multiplied by 0.75. So there was nothing I could do here except tank that uh, Moonblast beautifully and land a Fissure. It, did you see that? It, it, normally it goes inside the Earth, but it sort of got like squished together. Like it's like a piece of paper. Anyway, so this is a Fissure Rest, Sleep Talk, Stompy Tantrum at Max Health and Max Special Rest, Careful Nature. Now, we're going to bring a problem here, people. Out comes uh, Electros, right? And I've got nothing to use against this. Sorry, this is an Apricot Berry as an uh, item, if I didn't say that. I've got, I can't hit it. I've only got Fissure and Stomping Tantrum, so it's going to levitate there and take me out with a couple of drain punches there. And uh, that's the end of Ting Lu, but uh, the last Pokemon that we got is Chi Yu. So Chi Yu's got beads of ruin. So any active Pokemon that doesn't have the ability has their special events multiplied by 0.75. So any special attacks are going to hit a lot harder. So I've got an Overheat Sunny Day set. I'm thinking I can live this electrical attack here, and I'm going to boost it up uh, for even more damage. I've got Modest Nature, Max Speed, and Max Special Attack. And I'm just going to live that attack and go for the Overheat. And that is the end of of the Electros. And that's it, people. I'm finally at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And peace out.